Continuing in their annual tradition, Catholics from throughout the state of New York came together in Albany to speak with and pray for their state representatives. We had a lot of buses up here and people are really going around to the legislators. I've heard from some legislators themselves, they were visited, so it's really, I'm really proud of them. Today was a great educational experience for people on the ground, our parishioners, uh, our young people, uh, for all of our people to learn how to deal with legislators. This is my first time at Albany, first time being involved in any type of political action process, and I was very impressed and very warmly received. So it was nice to talk face to face with the senator. It's, it's, I, I think it's, it's helpful in me understanding what your issues are, and when uh, time for me to vote, at least I have a better understanding of these issues and cast my vote accordingly. And it's even greater when you have people from your own communities who live in your communities that you can talk to on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, the impact is definitely great and large, and not only here, but a great point about that is what we bring back home. Um, the follow-up with these meetings with our legislators on these policy changes and issues is so the fact that we can see a change on a daily, on a yearly basis, I should say. Um, the programs that need to be funded over and over again. Um, the limitations with the funding that we face are all important and give us the reason why we should come back every year. I mean, you make an impression after a while. The legislators know we come up once a year that we want to express our, our needs and uh, express our, uh, do our civil duty. So it's good. It's very necessary that we do this. In this particular day, you get to really meet the politicians um, and they're expecting you, you know. And so it's a, it's a forum in which they, they also see that you make the effort to come all the way out to their, uh, to their uh, office here in Albany where they actually are making these decisions. And so I think it, it's impressive uh, to them uh, and upon, upon them that they know that you have a, a strong concern and you're willing to make the effort and the time to come out and see them. Having personally spoken to their state representatives, participants of Catholics at the Capitol came together in prayer during the Knights of Columbus Rosary Rally and Mass at the Cathedral. For who better to ask to change the hearts of men and women than the Holy Spirit? We are uh, asking Almighty God to uh, bless our state, to bless our country, to bless these uh, men and women who have been elected to represent us. We're asking for the guidance of the Holy Spirit to be with them. They can make good choices and good decisions that will affect many, many people. To learn how to participate in next year's Catholics at the Capitol or to receive training, visit the website of Catholic Charities Brooklyn and Queens at ccbq.org. Reporting for Currents, this is Antonina Jelinska.